Hi Scorpio, welcome to New Era. My name is Emma. Scorpio is Skorpionen in Swedish. I'm Swedish and I will use a few uh, Swedish words to explain the English here and there where I feel like maybe the English is a bit a bit tough for the Swedish audience. Um, Scorpio, I, um, I've been going on and on for the other signs about why I'm, sh I'm shifting day and I just won't do it anymore. I don't even know why I told the other ones. Uh, here's the thing. I'm shifting uh, from Fridays and I'm I'm having all the different um, signs on different days. So just look for if you if Scorpio is like your your sign, but then you have maybe a sister sign, you're drawn to another sign, you just don't know why, but you just keep wanting to see it, or maybe you have a partner that you want, like you want to watch their sign, whatever, then it's all, it's in the description box on when the signs are being uploaded. So have a look at that if you want to. Uh, and then happy Scorpio season. It's uh, Scorpio season has just started. And so we're feeling it, Scorpio. I mean, being a Scorpio, being in Scorpio season, and I think we have full moon is coming up mid October somewhere. So, well, I don't know. Maybe there are some really early birds here. So, happy, happy early birthday, Scorpio. Um, it's all about water, it's all about feelings, it's all about feeling it, feeling it deep. But then the, the full moon is in Aries, which is a fire sign. So it, it talks a lot about balance, I feel, balancing stuff out. Though I have been feeling weird lately. Weird is the best description. I can't really describe what the heck is going on. I just feel like a huge... non-physical outer space outer dimension has just hit me with like an energy wave or something it's like it's it's so hard as soon as i'm trying to explain it just falls apart and just sounds so silly um but it makes me want to withdraw a bit sort of don't want to be in where everything is and i'm 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 leading my life normally i'm you know interacting with people and it's it feels like i'm not like fully there it's like i'm detached somehow and even around this it's like i'm on the outside a bit looking in and 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 like i'm needing to take a pause for this energy surge to i don't know to make sense to the body to myself Maybe you're experiencing something like it, or I wouldn't feel inspired to tell you about it. I would just be weird on my own. <laughs> um, I have these sort of upgrades every now, now and then, but this time it feels really different. It, it feels different. It feels huge and it feels different and weird. Anyway, I'm doing three cards at the same time. What? What? No. Did I not shuffle? I should always trust the card. I should always trust the card. You want to see them now, right? Ah, decide, decide, decide. Actually, guys, since I'm weird, I'm just going to I'm just going to shuffle again. It was the exact cards of Libra that I just did exact cards i don't know why i pull them again so if you're gonna have them you're just gonna have to trust that i will i will draw them i feel inspired to draw them again i will pick them up okay <laughs> the uh extra card there i won't touch though it's a bonus card that i just put right here i won't look at it probably be the same anyway and the funny thing, though, is I don't know why I took them away, because usually the cards, even though they are the same cards, they don't tell the same story. I think I, I just got bored that it was the same thing. <laughs> but 
Don't inf interfere with the cards. Okay. So you got two bonus cards there. Whoops. Wow. That's a bit of different energy. No, I'm happy I re I I did that again. You will get the same message though. Okay, so there's something about I mean you're going to, you're going to get to see the cards, but immediately I just want to say there's something about what do you say? Continuance? Continuance? Continuity? <laughs> Continuity, I think. Like something with the, it just, you, you started on something and just continue to do it now. Just continue to do it. There's a process here and just continue and it will happen. Just continue. Something like that. They're so similar. These, oh, I want to show you. Okay. So first out is self-reliance. Don't be afraid to fly solo. I know you had this card before, but you might tell a different story today. This is my Leo card, so you might be dealing with a Leo or you might just... This is actually my Virgo card and that's why I feel a continuity in it. Um, the Leo card, leadership, set your goals. And then we have the owl, the wisest bird out there. Follow your intuition. I love this energy. Okay, so like I said, yeah, I, I'm feeling like you're feeling it too. What I started out saying, because I, I get very uh, esoteric, I get very out there sort of feeling, is not so 3D and down to earth. It's not so, well, it's a mix. Okay, first out is self-reliance. Don't be afraid to fly solo. This is my Virgo card. This often comes, comes out when the Virgo uh, reading is, uh, I'm so drawn to look at the stars, to look at the image of the Virgo, like, it's like the, I don't know if that looks like that in the, in, in the reality, <laughs> like there's, you know, how it would be portrayed, the Virgo, how it would, Jungfrun that is, um, would be portrayed like on the night skies, I'm so drawn to you and the, and like the the vibe around you, just vibrating, just almost shivering, like like buzzing. The energy is so fast. It's like you're going into the next, whatever the next thing is for you. You're reaching like, and so maybe the process here is is for. For some of you guys, it, I feel like they're still very 3D, meaning the next thing is to get the car, is to get the relationship, is to get the house, to get the job. And nothing wrong with that. That is just living. That is awesome living. That's what you want to experience. But for some of you, or it could be both, uh, it's more about the non-physical, the feelings of it, the feeling of exploration, of of transformation, of ex just expanding your yourself, your life, and your understanding. Um, and I'm so drawn into you, almost like exploding into white light, almost, uh, almost like continue this way, and we soon can't see you. <laughs> that sort of feeling. I think you are feeling what I'm feeling. It's 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 weird. Um, yeah, you might be dealing with a Virgo. You might be dealing with a Virgo. Or feel, if you're dealing with a Virgo or another person, if that is them. If it just described somebody that you know, like, no, that's not me, but I do know who that is. That sort of a feeling. And the next card out is Leo. And why I feel like it's such a progress or such a process is because first we have, um, Virgo and Virgo uh, after Virgo comes Leo. So it's like a beautiful just we just continue into the next one. Um which is you know finding your power, it's feeling it, it's holding the fire, it's it's standing in the sun and just knowing who the heck you are. 
it's such a cool vibe around the Leo. Um, and then you have the same. It's like the same just through the clouds there. It's very similar. If you see like that, I'm so drawn to look at the stars to to see a constellation. Thank you. Con the constellation of stars. Like it's very similar. It's very like out of this world feeling. And there's there's spirit are just watching you and I feel like something it's about to, it feels like you almost turn into spirit. It's not like I feel like you're gonna you're on your way to to leave the earth plane, but oh, I so want that to you could see that right up here, right up there. It's the silhouette of of two faces of of spirit faces, just looking down on you. But I feel like that is you. So it's like you have the 3D version. That's why I say, oh, I'm confused here because it feels both. It feels like you have the 3D version. We have focus on 3D stuff, um, what we, what we want to discover, what we want to find out. And then we have a very dreamlike, dream state, non-physical, spiritual viewpoint as well. And I feel like you're both, you're going in and out of, of both and you're, and you're really stepping it up. It's like recently, oh, it's such a, it's not really words to describe this whole situation. I'm not doing a very good job here. Um, it's like, it's like you come from, oh, first I didn't know that much and then something has happened and it has made you ask for more it has it has made you ask for what's important in your life what is like uh you don't want to waste it anymore that's what I, that's the feeling i get and because you don't want to waste it anymore you have gone into this accelerated speed of light speed like it's so fast forward move moving you probably have developed and I know you guys have had some issues with your body that sort of hasn't I've, I've been drawn there over and over to say you know this thing in your body is going to soon be over I know you feel a bit out of sorts I am starting to feel that it's due to these shifts you're so fast in moving forward and just understanding new things that the body is like what and that's exactly what I started out explaining how I feel right now. It's like this huge wave of information or call it whatever you will, um, that the body is like, what? what am I supposed to do with this? I don't know. Sleep on it or something. Third card out. Uh, the owl, follow your intuition. So yes, it, it still is. And you have had this card too, I just realized, because I had, I have, I know I've said to you, bird eyes view or birds eye view. <sighs> Never learn. <laughs> um, it's the same thing here. It's like the bird in itself. The bird is so cool. The owl is so cool. It has a three, 360 um, angle. We can see just everywhere, you know? And then we have just birds in the background here that you sort of can't see, which is the spirit birds. It's the spirit animal. It's the, it's the non-physical coming in again. And I feel like it's both. It's like you're both. You're on both perspectives here. And you're starting to get the hang of it that you're not one or the other. You're both. And you just got to sit with it for a bit because, yeah. And, and it said fo follow your intuition. So it's just something that you need to feel into. And, and what better time than now? Scorpio season being scorpio you're like one of the deepest deepest feeling 
um, signs out there. Okay, guys, if this bit outside the box um, message is resonating, resonating with you, then come with me to the extended. Uh, I'll look further into this. Um, if this is where we part ways, then thank you so much for watching and please subscribe if you haven't. Take care guys. Bye.